as researchers, we want to talk about public policy and really dig into what could potentially be going on in the manufacturing sector and why they may be struggling now, especially given they've kind of been seeing declining levels of employment over the past several decades. So you would think under normal circumstances that when there's kind of layoffs or there'd be individuals kind of around waiting to be hired. And since, you know, that's kind of not the story that's been told recently, we really wanted to figure out what's going on, what what potentially could manufacturers be doing to kind of attract high school workers or are they doing there's this some sort of like mismatch that's been going on local manufacturers are actually teaming up with local community colleges kind of for these associates degrees so you have manufacturers actually supporting and sponsoring students through their associates degree to kind of get these skills but they're also working with on-the-job training ideas where they have the NAM as the National Association of Manufacturers. And they've put together this skills certification program where you can go and you can kind of have take these exams and these classes to get the skills necessary and then you have this certification which you can then show your employer saying, listen, I do have these skills and it's a portable type of thing where now the industry recognizes this and they can have these skills and they're based, they're based on entry-level skills that would make them compete, like to compete in the realm for employment. Yeah, absolutely. The skills needed in manufacturing have changed over the past several decades, mainly with technology advances in manufacturing. So now you have these high-tech automated machines. So yeah, I think over time we have seen kind of trends in the manufacturing sector that they're hiring less workers with less than a high school education and they're hiring more people in this middle spectrum with at least a high school degree, some college, even bachelors. So the gap between the levels of manufacturing workers with higher skills is shrinking compared to the non-manufacturing. So non-manufacturing you're still hiring more more people percentage-wise than non-manufacturing in less than high school or high school, but those gaps are definitely converging with non-manufacturing. So the types of skills you need will be higher now than they have before. Upskilling is the general trend where you're looking at the average skill of workers and a lot of times education level correlates with skill. So the idea is that now in, the, in manufacturing and non-manufacturing actually in the entire U.S. economy, the percentage of workers with higher levels of education are increasing at the expense of lower education. So you've seen trends over time where in general students or kids are getting more education, staying in school longer. So you have more people graduating high school, more people graduating college or even col or community colleges. So in general, there's a trend with the understanding that as technology changes, you need the skills, the basic skills of science, math, reading, writing to kind of keep going and maintain your like skill level and follow the different trends that are going on.